Controlling the temperature of your charcoal barbecue is very straightforward. You can control it in one of two ways. You can either control it by the amount of coals that you use or how you actually position the vents. On this occasion we're actually going to be grilling some chicken drumsticks. So first of all I'm going to lay out the coals in the base of my barbecue. The Weber chimney starter is a great way of measuring out your coals. This full chimney starter here is ideal for a 57 centimetre barbecue when you're grilling foods. If you have a 47 centimetre barbecue, then three quarters should suffice. Distribute your coals evenly over the cooking grate and this will help to create an even temperature whilst cooking. If you have a collection of coals in one place, just use some tongs to position them evenly across the cooking grate. Don't be tempted to put too many coals into your barbecue as this will create too much heat and therefore burn your food. Just one layer of coals will suffice. Once the coals are in place, place the cooking grate on top of the coals and then add the food. Remember always to place the lid on top. With the lid in place this will help to keep an oven environment and also will help to reduce flare-ups. The vents are also key to controlling the temperature of your charcoal barbecue. The vents are located at the bottom and at the top. The vent should always be open during cooking. To open the vent at the bottom just push the lever to the far side where you can see the vent symbol. I'm also going to open the vent at the top. This will allow the air to be drawn in through the bottom of the barbecue, pass through the coals, circulate around the food and then be pushed out the top, creating this oven environment I spoke about earlier. On a windy day, it is possible to close the vents by 50%. This will restrict the airflow going into the barbecue, therefore reducing the oxygen to the coals and reducing the temperature. Closing the vents to 50% is also great when your food is cooked and can help to keep the food warm. 